city council meeting showing a councilor holding up his pants is gaining attention online. That video is now gaining hundreds of views. Now this video has left many in the community confused. As KZI 9 News reporter Jay Wan Jung shows us, to get the full picture, you have to look behind, be, excuse me, beyond the frames. What you see isn't always Here's my pants. what you get. Yes or no? Do I have boxers? It's an act that astonished everyone in the Dunes City Council meeting last Wednesday night. It was a surprise to all of us, except for Councillor Hammond. Those who went to the meeting knew Councillor Rory Hammond didn't actually pull down his pants, but this misunderstanding is related to a point Hammond is trying to get across. And I have this problem with Zoom meetings and, and uh, their uh, people taking uh, reporting based on that this image that's there. And so that was my point. Here's how Hammond orchestrated his plan. He had the cameraman only film from his chest up and in front of him, he had a box with a pair of pants, boxers and briefs. And when he bent down to get them out, it looked like he was taking them off. And then I asked Councilman Snow if I was wearing briefs, if not wearing briefs, I said, do I have briefs? I didn't say, am I wearing? I said, do I have? And she said, Yes, and she was kind of suspicious of what, because I didn't tell anybody I was going to do. And so if you listen, both of them saying yes, what's going on? You know, there, there's a, the, the news isn't accurate, but both, both of them were correct. Hammond says he started to plan this act when he noticed reporters at the Sayusla News stopped coming to their meetings in person. They have not been sending a reporter to watch the live and they've been doing the reports from the videos that appear on our website. But they've been getting some of the stuff wrong. But reporters at the Sayusla News say there are a number of reasons they don't come to the meetings in person. There are a lot of meetings that are going on and we try and cover as many as possible. We have a small staff who's doing all of the editorial content for our paper. Just three people, two reporters and me as editor. Uh, it is a lot to do and uh, the fact is that a majority of the Dune City Council does not wear masks while they're indoors at these public meetings. Hammond admits there's been disagreements among city councilors about mask wearing but says the paper didn't accurately portray what happened during the meetings. And so at the end of the meeting, Councilman Orb, having come in late, chised, chastised us for not wearing masks and said we should do, we should be a good example to the uh, to the students and he's right you know we should be good examples and the irony of it was that we did talk about it but he wasn't there and so the newspaper uh, reported it and then the letters of the editor started to come you know how could we be so cavalier but the Sayus Law news editor says they were never contacted about false information uh, we haven't received a written complaint or something to address so they comments about being um be printing something wrong when they're not coming to address us. As far as the city council, they hope the community can look deeper than what meets the eye. Do you always believe everything you hear? Do you always believe everything you see on TV? Do you believe all, all everything that you see in person? You, you think you saw something that you probably didn't and you think about it. It's so you, you have to have an open mind and, and, and try to listen to what the other people are saying. Reporting in Dune City, Jay Wan Jung, KEZI 9 News.